uh, yesterday to talk that she didn't wait uh, to speak at the General Assembly because I I think they uh, she tried to. No, she no more. Well, there's a I think there's a process that we're not in a General Assembly right now. But there's a process at the General Assembly where you sign up to speak and we're all equals. And so, you know, when I when I've been down when I you know, I've been in New York, so I've been in Occupy Wall Street. And if I'm number 17 to speak, I'm number 17 to speak, and it doesn't matter if I'm Michael Moore or Michael Schmo. You know, it doesn't. It does, and and it's the spirit. That's why this movement is built, because it is a movement of equals. Everybody has something to to give to this. We're all in this together. We're going to sink or swim together. That's our choice right now. When. When they, when I was there last night, somebody asked one of the people in the media tent, what are the goals? What are you trying to accomplish? And he said, well, he said, our mission is in our name. Occupy Wall Street. And then he said, period. I thought about that for a second. Occupy Wall Street, period. In other words, it isn't just about these encampments. It's that we're not stopping until we, the people, occupy our economy that runs this country. This is our economy. It's our country. We're the ones that have a say. And, and when somebody says to me, well, you know, what's the goal? What's the end game? And I say, well, let me tell you something, first of all. We've already had a number of victories in our first six weeks. And let's acknowledge those victories. All right? Number one, number one, we have killed despair across the country. The despair that people are feeling. That despair is dissipating right now. This movement has killed apathy. People have got up off the sofa. They've turned off Dancing with the Stars. And they're out in the streets. This is a victory. Here's something very important we've done. Six weeks ago, what was all the media talking about? All the politicians in Washington, all the pundits. What was the what was the national discussion that we were a part of that they determined? What were they talking about? The debt ceiling. The debt. The debt ceiling. The deficit. We got to reduce the deficit. We got to reduce the deficit. Over and over and over all summer long. The debt ceiling. The deficit. The debt ceiling. The deficit. Can I ask you honestly? When's the last time in the last few weeks you heard them talking about the debt ceiling? Or the deficit? We shut it down on them. This movement has shut down that bullshit discussion. That, that is a huge victory. You have altered the national discussion. You have altered it. This is what people are talking about in every town and city and village across America. Occupy Oakland. Occupy New York. Occupy San Francisco. Occupy Grass Valley. Occupy Walnut Creek. Occupy Flint, Michigan. Occupy everywhere. This is the discussion we're going to have. And we're not seeing the discussion for anybody else. In conclusion, <laughs> in conclusion, um, healthcare not warfare. I check. I am. Um, they have warfare on healthcare. Did you just yell at a disabled guy to move his pain? <laughs> they told me there were plants here from the police. <laughs> Plain clothes. Plain 
Depot's officer, let me just remind you, when you yell to out at a disabled person, put down the cane, we know who you are. <laughs> but welcome, welcome. Because police officers, you're part of the 99% too. They'll be coming after you. They'll be coming after you and your home and your health care and your children. There's a number of towns, there's a number of towns across this country. There's a number of towns across this country that are behaving differently than Oakland. There are police departments and police unions. Hang on. There are police departments and police unions across the country supporting the Occupy movements in their towns. Albany, New York, a beautiful example. The governor told them to remove the people. And the police said, we don't consider that part of police work. choice, even in Oakland. It's still America, Oakland PD. It's a free country. You can join us. You can join us. You don't have to join them. You don't have to be here defending Wells Fargo and Bank of America and BP and everybody else. You can stand up for yourselves and everybody else. All right. Um, so please keep this alive here. I know it's going to be a lot of snow this winter. I want to say one more thing about something I saw last week. Pete Seeger. Was, he had a concert. He had a he did a concert up on the corner. It was up in a theater in Arlo and Tom Chapin and a few others. Um, did a concert up on the corner of 95th and Broadway at Symphony Space in New York. And afterwards, they decided to march from Symphony Space down to Columbus Circle. That's 36 blocks. Pete is 92 years old on, on two canes. On two canes, he walked the entire way. And when we got, we got to Columbus Circle, and he was leading everyone, thousands of people, singing, uh, This Land is Your Land. And he looked over, and there were two New York City policemen singing along. Um, right. There's good and bad police, just like it's good and bad people. Hey, can you tell that to the SWAT team? Because hey, none of them say shit. We are stronger than any rubber bullet or bean bag or tear gas canister. There's too many of us. And what are they defending in the first place? A broken system and a country that has benefited the few at the expense of the many. The time for that to end is right now. And when the history of this... There go, your police. That are good. When the history... Keep speaking, Mike. Keep speaking. Keep speaking. You know how sad it is? He says we're from Oakland. We're used to that. You shouldn't be used to it. You know, if you lived in any other of the West, the democracies, the one to the north of us, you know, you would never say a statement like that. Oh, we're used to that. You know, other people in other countries have decided to organize themselves differently. We can do that too. And don't worry, for those of you who aren't quite sure, who may just have stopped by to see this today, and you're wondering, yeah, but where's this going, or I need to know more, i got to figure this out. Don't, don't approach this like other movements from the past. Don't approach it like a term paper. Um, this, just join in. 
Because the group itself, something will come out of this and it will be good. It will be good and generous to each other. So everybody's got to come into this on some level. And we can make this happen. So I just, the thing I wanted to say before the uh, uh, sound effects truck um, was that when the history of this movement uh, is written, about these first few weeks, where, no, it's not going to fail. What? What film? film. Uh, not written film. Or film. Or, or film, yeah. yeah. Or, or, are you making a film? No, I'm not making, no, 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 no. No, no, no. no. I'm sorry, I'm here as a citizen. I'm, by the way, haven't I made those films? I'm, 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 yes, you have. I'll tell you what I'm happy about, and I've, I have been a bit giddy and and overjoyed these last few weeks because at the end of my last film I was pretty dejected uh, if you did happen to see it and I and I didn't and, and and I said at the end of the film as I was wrapping the crime scene tape around the New York Stock Exchange um, that uh, I just really I didn't know if I could keep doing this I don't know if I want to make another film because I keep making these films and it's you know, you just wonder, when's this going to happen? When's it going to happen? And I said at the end of the film, let me know, audience or do people, it. when you want to when you want to do something, I'll do it with you. Do it! Uh, do it! Uh, because you got my okay, Michael. It's, uh, you got my okay. it's a little rough being the poster boy on Rush Limbaugh or Fox <laughs> News uh, every day. And they can get away with it when it's uh, just a Michael Moore, or Naomi Klein, or a, uh, you know, any of a number of other great people that have, have been busy on this issue for many years. Um, but when there are a million uh, Naomi Kleins or 10 million Michael Moores, they won't know what the F to do. So, and, that's, and that's why they're confused right now. So, when the history of this movement is written, this week in Oakland, California, will go down as a watershed moment. People, people across America were disgusted by what they saw here. When average Americans trying to stand up and peacefully assemble to be brutally savage and attacked by the police department that they pay for. That, that, let me tell you, the footage, you're here, okay, you're here. We're out there. We've been watching. Millions have watched it, and millions have been inspired by you because the next night you didn't go away. You came back. 